welcome. Hope you're having a great one. So, we're going to be trying Schler. Oh, yes. Now, not Schler is just the normal Schler. We brewed Schler. Like, we turned it into actual alcohol instead of the uh, non alcoholic alternative. So, now it is the alcoholic alternative to Schler. And the name, it lives up to its name now, I guess. Though it is a light light alcohol it's not meant to be uh, anything fantastic i had very low hopes very low expectations this was a eh, why not i can so i'm going to and and we did so i guess that all worked out well then so the reason i did this is because i got the schler cheap we picked up seven bottles and we made a gallon batch of schler and from those seven bottles we got six bottles and a tasting now uh, if you haven't seen the part one and the part two video I will stick the links at the top so uh, well, you can see them if you want. So I'm not going to be drinking this bottle because I've been shaking it and uh, I've mixed up the yeast and yeast makes you fat and uh, I don't need any help with that. So I'm going to pick up a fresh bottle. This one here with the yeast at the bottom. So uh, this is lightly chilled. So we carbonated this and yep it has carbonation got some bubbles coming up oh yes actually looks pretty nice a lot like the original schler differences this contains alcohol so i've got a cheeky glass and we're gonna give this a go because uh well i kind of have to <laughs> even if i didn't want to not the greatest flan flan not the greatest fan of schler no i'm not it's too sweet doesn't really taste like wine so it's not an alcoholic alternative. So uh, let's pour just a little bit. Now, oh, a little bit is in a glass. It looks quite nice. It is nice and clear. It actually looks a lot like a rosé, almost as if. Oh, I better put the lid on that. Almost as if um, we we bought the rosé version. Yeah. Here we go. So first impression, it's got a nice color to it. I can't argue with that. We're looking at it like a wine, not as what it was before. It is kind of a strawberry blush. Oh yes. So bubbles, strawberry blush. It kind of smells like wine. Actually, it kind of smells like a wine. Um, it does. Though I'm getting kind of berry notes. I don't know where I'm getting those from because it's mainly water in here. It's only 26 or 27% juice. Let's find out. It is 27%. Ooh, that was a good guess. So it's actually only 27% juice from grapes. So I don't know what grapes they are. They're just whatever comes in the bottle. Let's give it a go. Ooh. That's quite nice. I didn't think I was gonna say that. So I had really low hopes, really low expectations. So we didn't really fiddle about with this too much. But it's not bad. So when we bottled it up, it kind of had a sweetener taste to it. It's still got that kind of sweetener taste, I mean, that's, that's just how it goes. But adding the bubbles to it and letting it age very slightly has kind of balanced that out. Adding a bit more alcohol to it, if you were going to do it, if you could get the bubbles cheap, would probably do exactly the same thing and then carbonate it. You'd have a, I don't know, Schler champagne. Who knows? So um, I am getting the acid blend in there. Um, the main ingredient, the main acid they use is malic acid. They also use vitamin C or ascorbic acid, um, which is both a preservative and a flavoring. There you go, learn something new every day. So uh, I'm, I'm gonna drink some more. It's actually not bad. It's actually quite nice. That acid blend kind of balances it. The grape, it doesn't really taste like grape. It tastes like a, a wine spritzer 
or a, a wine blush. It kind of has berry notes in there. I think that could be the malic acid and the sorbic acid playing little tricks on me. Could be. But it kind of, it, yeah. Light grape, a little bit of blueberry, possibly raspberry. Random berry. Snozberry, why not? Um, so yeah, I'm, I am very, very shocked. This is actually pretty drinkable as far as it goes. I mean, I'm never gonna, it's not gonna taste really any better if you age it, so if you are gonna do it, might as well just go nuts. So I've been sampling the bottle as you do, gotta have a few glasses, and I've been rambling away to myself, but the Schleur wine is actually not that bad. I mean, it's not gonna be a cellar wine, it's never gonna be that, and well, I managed to get the Schleur cheap, so it was worth doing if you can get this stuff cheap. If you're paying full price, there are so many other things out there that you could brew that taste even better. Uh, that's that's just, yeah. It is a nice, easy, light wine. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I gotta say about it. You can brew Schleur, but for the same price, especially if you're paying full price, you can get a load of other stuff <laughs> that will brew up better. So there we go. I think we have learned something today. And um, well, I enjoyed making it and I did find out that it's actually not too bad to drink. I know, I'm as shocked as you are. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to check out some of the other ones and well, subscribe if you feel like it, you know, all that stuff. Comment down below, send a, send a hello, send a like, whatever. So. Carry on homebrewing, guys. See you later. I'm gonna finish it, because it's good. And up to drink.